Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, I want to say thank you to my 1,000 subscribers. Hey, I'm hype. Yes, with 1,000 subscribers. So what? We started at the bottom with like nothing and somehow we worked our way to 1,000. So thank you. You are the best. You freaking rock. Okay, I'm trying to stop cursing guys. I'm working on it. It's not ladylike, you know? But yes, you guys are so amazing. So thank you, thank you so much. And if you somehow come across this video and you're not subscribed or following me yet, then please do if you like what you see so that you can keep up with my videos. I'm also going to link in my description box and possibly in my video guys, probably right there or right there, I'm gonna link my other social media handles for you guys. I'm most active on Instagram and Snapchat and I've recently started becoming active on Periscope where I can live broadcast when I'm live into whatever I'm doing that I feel is like fun or sort of entertaining for you guys and I get to speak directly with you. I love it, I love Periscope and I love Snapchat. So please feel free, don't be shy, hit me up, Let's talk about some fun stuff. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's cool, it's all good. I was able to fortunately finally get some money together and get myself into Namie's and Morphe. For those of you that don't know, both of those stores are located in Burbank, Southern California. So yeah, we're gonna get started and we're gonna get right into it, guys. You ready? Some of the products that I picked up were just things that I needed to kind of re-up on that I've already been using. Those products would be my MAC Pro Concealer in NC30 that I use to highlight and conceal under my eye, as well as my retractable Anastasia Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. As of right now, I'm cool with it, I'm chilling. I'm still working on my brow routine, guys, and really trying to like get it where I'm like living for it. I'm not there yet, so within the next few months, I might be trying some different brow products, but this is like my go-to brow routine for now as I'm in this horrid stage of growing these babies out. I just got some simple mascara, nothing too crazy right now. I really only use mascara to bind my lashes with false lashes and a little bit on the bottom. So I'm not too high maintenance with the mascara situation right now. We're cool and we're chilling with our little Maybelline mascara. I don't like waterproof mascara, so fortunately this one is not waterproof. I also went and got my MAC Fix Plus, which we know and if we don't already know, is a must-have and a holy grail for you or for your kid, whichever it might be, yes. I also got a few different lashes just for my kit. I got a few different ones from Red Cherry and another one from this brand that says Elegant Lashes. They have a few nice wispies. I did decide, guys, to spoil myself just a bit and try something a little bit different, something that I've never tried, should I say. So I gave in, guys, and I bought myself a pair of Lily Lashes. These are the Lily Lashes in Miami. They are gorgeous. They're very, like, wispy, and I think this should be fun and interesting for me to try. Maya is getting me into these very, like, furry, ever so slightly dramatic eyelashes and I'm also not gonna lie I kind of cheated before the haul and I did use the flutter lashes that I bought intoxicating these are the $10 pair that flutter lashes offers they are gorgeous I love them they're not uncomfortable at all they don't bother me and I love the way they look so yeah loving these $10 pair from flutter lashes you cannot go wrong with that considering if you don't know, Flutter Lashes lashes are normally 
retail price from like $29.95 to $39.95 for some lashes, yes, I know. But they're beautiful and they're like me care and stuff, so yeah. Okay guys, so next I am gonna show you some of my new lip options that I recently got my hands on and I can't wait to try. And I'm not gonna lie, I've tried one already so far. So here are the four colors. Two of them are from Dose of Colors, one being a matte like berry shade, which I can't wait to use. This is called Berry Me. And then this one, which actually turned out to be a lip gloss, and I was ever so slightly frustrated because I didn't read the packaging and I assumed that this color pink, this amazing pink right here, was a matte shade. And then I discovered it was a lip gloss. That I'm not like dying over the color. Yes, still obsessed. Love the color. As for the formula, I find it kind of comes off quickly. Um, so I'm not too crazy about that just because I felt like, you know, I had to keep on like checking on it and make sure that my lips didn't look crazy and you know you can't trust the shorty next to you to let you know like, hmm, take care of that. No. So take care of yourself and I just had to make sure I had to keep checking so that I didn't look like a hot mess in these streets. The other one that I am super excited to try and actually ever so slightly nervous because I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I'm not too experimental with lip colors or makeup colors really to begin with because my hair is so extra. I think I'm learning how to work with colored hair and makeups for colored hair, but it's fun, good challenges. So I did get a color from Jeffree Star. I'm in for a treat trying this one. It is a beautiful, vibrant, bright pink. For those of you that don't know, pink is my favorite, favorite color, preferably lighter pinks. This one is called Queen Supreme. Can't wait to try it. And for the last one I got is from OCC. Apparently they no longer have squeeze tubes that they used to carry their packaging in. I'm assuming they just don't package them that way anymore. Not sure. Either way, they come now like this with an applicator similar to a lot of the liquid lipsticks that are out right now. This one is called John Doe. I went to the matte counter in Namie's and of course I really wanted cork. They didn't have any. They only had oak, which she said was similar in a way, which I guess I could see that. I think it's just lighter and it's not as noticeable, but I do have it on right now with uh, some lip gloss and I'm feeling it. I don't hate it. I definitely still want to get my hands on cork and whirl again for sure when the time comes. Soon comes, soon comes. So I had recently been using L'Oreal's matte pro foundation that you know most people were also raving about for being like the budget friendly inexpensive foundation that is easily accessible at your nearest drugstore. So I was using that bad boy and I don't hate it at all, but as a makeup artist, I hear about one. And I just like miss my, not completely high end, but a little bit better uh, foundation. So I went back for my Makeup Forever HD and I found out they have these foundation sticks. Yes, I'm late. But I mean, I definitely know because I had seen Nikki tutorials using these. So I was like, okay, I'll try that. So far, I've used it twice. One of the times being today for this video. I am liking it so far. I'm kind of in a transition routine, guys, right now with my skincare regimen and my life and my eating habits. So there's like a lot that's going on inside and outside and my skin is ever so slightly reacting. Oh, some stress is causing some pimples and things that I'm not used to, and I'm just like, Ugh. but I'm fighting through <laughs> and it's gonna be fine. As for this Makeup Forever HD stick, so far I'm rocking with it. I like it, and if I have any complaints to come, I will definitely let you guys know. But so far, good thing, it's working out. I also just bought a pack of sponges. I was makeup shopping with Maya and she was like, girl, buy with that 
$19 beauty blender or however much it costs. I don't remember right now. She was like, these sponges, it's the same thing. I promise, try it, use them. And these are actually, you guys, they're not like the super thin sponges. They're the ones that the wedge is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna try those out. I'll definitely let you guys know in my next tutorial. I will use one and let you know how I feel about the application process. Okay guys, so recently my favorite favorite ever blending brush from Sephora just grew some legs and walked away from me and it went missing I don't know where it went occasionally my makeup goes missing I don't know if somebody's like taking it on the low low if clients be like scheming on my ish I don't really know what be going on but some stuff just goes missing magically so while I was in Morphe, I took advantage of course what they are most known for and picked up some brushes. And I couldn't leave with one blending brush, I left with three. Because they all have different purposes, right? So I got the M412, the M200, and the M332. M332 is just a nice, fluffy, natural haired brush. And it's also, it's pretty rounded at the top pretty short not too dense but dense enough where I think I'm gonna get a good color payoff when using it with products for the crease but I do think I might use this brush more just for feathering and blending out edges of the crease then this one which is the M200 from what I can see it's a little bit longer the hairs a little bit thinner and still domed at the tip but also some nice soft natural hair and I will be using this one to apply color in my crease. I'm gonna try those out, see how they are. I'm very, very, very picky with blending brushes and how they apply my shadow in my crease. I also got the M412 which is completely domed and it kind of like points at the top. I think this one should probably also be good for really concentrating color in the crease. I'm excited and I look forward to using these and I'm sure in my next tutorial I will be using them and you guys can see how I use them to apply my eyeshadow. I am now going to show you guys some shadows that I picked up from Morphe. I'm gonna pull them out the packaging to show you guys and then I'm going to explain why I got these bad boys. I'm not gonna lie, I dipped into these as well. But let me just show you. I used this one the other day. I purchased this. Oh. oh my god. I thought I almost broke it. I would have been mad. So after using Jacqueline's code in store at the Morphe store, these shadows came to $5.39. So I got these two. This one right here is actually called Hooked. And this one is called Made of Gold. Jesus Christ. Christ, how many times am I going to drop this thing, guys? I've just dropped this twice already since it's been here. So these are the shades. They are beautiful. And I purchased these for highlights. Mm. I actually have one hooked right now, which is this one. And it's my first time trying it. And I really like it. This one is a definitely more of a golden tone, golden shade. Beautiful for medium, tan, and deeper complexions. Gorgeous glowing goddess situation right here. Then this one I'd recommend more for the fair to medium complexion lane. And I'll just show you guys the pigment on this situation real quick. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, the come up right here. And it's the come up because if you can go out there and get you a Becca highlighter or something that you might feel is a little bit too overpriced, get you one of these. Pigment is bomb, $6 shadow, can't go wrong. And I'm also going to swatch really quick for you, Hooked, right here. See, beautiful golden shade, love them. And I also purchased, guys, at about $11 at Nami's. Instead of getting a Z palette, which is like, ridiculously overpriced for an empty palette if you ask me at least because I'm on a budget I wouldn't be saying this if I wasn't but yeah so I went and got me a makeup forever magnetic palette 
to hold these bad boys down for me. Like that. Isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome and I'm pretty excited for it. The only other thing that I did pick up at Nini's is from Makeup Designery, their Lemon Cream Powder. And I picked up just the pan as well because I'm gonna put this in here too. Okay guys, and I saved the best for last. Can you guess? Can you guess which one it is? Factoring in how late I am? I'm gonna show you. I got the Morphe 350, yes. Mm -hmm. And check this out, this beautiful array of colors. Guys, I wasn't even like on, I didn't even know what this was about. Then I started watching more YouTube videos and I was like, damn, these girls love this palette. So I'm in store in Morphe with Maya and she's like, yeah, like that's one of the more like popular palettes right now. And they like only limit you one per customer in the store. So I swatched like a couple of like these shimmery shades and I was living for the pigment. So I'm like, okay, and they're neutral shades. And right now with my colorful stage process of hair and changing my hair, um, I figured neutrals would be something very good for me to be working with. So how can I go wrong? So this palette came to $20.69 after using Jaclyn's Co. Great affordable price for great pigment and a great product with a great array of different colors that I cannot wait and have been dying to use but this is the one thing that I told myself I would not dip into without doing the haul to show you guys a beautiful fresh untouched palette. I think that I'm going to possibly do a prom makeup tutorial soon and I'm gonna work from this so that my little youngins that are going to prom and are hopefully going to come across that video can understand that they can go and afford the palette as well. Ask for it at your graduation present or whatever you gotta do, girl. Get this palette. You feel me? I can't wait. Super excited. So that is it, guys. That completes this haul. I hope that you liked this video and I hope that it was somewhat informative. I can't wait to use these products and let you guys know if I like them or I don't like them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for somehow finding my channel or coming and tuning in with this video. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate all the love and positive vibes that you guys have been sending me via all of my social media networks. You don't even understand how much it means to me and how much it encourages me. Whoever has the guts to say something to me, I answer you guys. Sometimes I know it takes a little while because I get a little busy. I genuinely do sit there and I take the time out to read all your Snapchats or your DMs or anything like that. And there are times that I am laying on my bed for an hour or two hours just giving the best that I can to these conversations with you guys because I do understand that you are taking time out of your day to reach out to me. So as a respect and a courtesy back and of course to show my gratitude and admiration for you guys, I am going to sit down and give you that equal respect in return. Thank you to 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe I even hit that. I got something coming for you guys soon though. I am working on putting some sort of giveaway together, but I'm trying to find something that I think you guys will really like. So my ladies, please feel free and my gentlemen, if you want, to leave me any feedback or comments. Don't forget to thumbs up, you guys, if you like what you see. Share, share me with your other beauties and your people that are into makeups as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up with me for more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.